ago we started and our mission was actually around uh, interoperability, improving interoperability and communication across the building's life cycle. So plan, uh, build, operate. And then here over the last two years our mission has grown. So we have our geospatial technologies and uh, portfolios as well as our civil. So we've grown now to supporting the life cycle from survey to design to build to operate across all types of assets, building and civil infrastructure. I think that goes back to the roots of what we're trying to do with Trimble Connect and the interoperability in that there's a human change element to making this change and driving this transformation. And so it's about allowing them to still do what they do in their day and use the specialty tools that they use, yet be able to interoperate with others. And so if we can help with that human change element of allowing them to work where they're comfortable and make it easy, that's where we can actually enable the connection and the ability to leverage more of the technology down in the, in the downstream process, right? So our focus is really around how can we help with a system of engagement where each pe person can work in the specialty tool or the authoring tool of their choice, yet still be able to, to interoperate and leverage the other data in context of their work to be more productive, make better decisions. Across the three disciplines, it's again being able to leverage that information and share that downstream. So in the geospatial market, we have our surveyors, for example, and they're out there collecting data about the site, the survey, features and components where a tree is, where a park bench is. And so now that we have that data and the ability to support both the mapping data as well as what you use downstream 3D and 2D data, we can pull that into systems like SketchUp where they can make better decisions, build better designs, coordinated better with the site as is, right? And the same with civil. Now that we've got a, a rough concept of what we want the building to look like, we can pull that model into products like Trimble Business Center to do the digital terrain design and design that site again, better in context with uh, the other components of that total project. We've got over 45 integrations today, and I think it's important to note that a lot of those are in our portfolios, but also with third-party products as well. Because um, if you really understand our customer, they're going to have a different set of tools on every project. Um, and so we have, uh, like I said, a number of a number of those integrations with our Trimble products and creating plugins so that they can share push and pull data with the Connect Cloud service, but also being able to access our third parties and uh, tools that they use as well. The user interface of Connect actually takes a backseat over time. We're totally happy with that. I think uh, our vision would be you use the interface to set up the project and define teams or invite users. And from there, you work in the tool of your choice and you're able to seamlessly share that data in context with others. Trimble Connect is really an enabler. So Trimble Connect on its own wouldn't be valuable. It's the connections that make it valuable. So my job on a day-to-day -day basis is actually to work with all of the different divisions and all of the different products and their equivalent product managers to make sure that they're integrating. And not just that they're integrating, but we want our customers to expect that when it is connected, that there's a certain level of uh, understanding for what you're going to get and what level of experience you should have. So our day is very matrixed in to throughout the geospatial, civil, and buildings departments working with all of the, the other products. That's the great thing too is that our business model is really about our professional tools and Trimble Connect allows us to provide more valuable to those tools of your choice. So you can actually go out TrimbleConnect.com and sign up for a free project. And, uh, and from there, if, uh, if you choose to go forward, you can actually uh, sign up for a, a monthly subscription, a paid subscription. But there's no difference between the free and the paid. We want the first project to be on us so everybody can get a flavor for the capabilities we provide. So the, very, the subscription models are um, basically it's a monthly user subscription and then we have other plans depending on if somebody wants to make an annual commitment from there. But we're trying to keep it very simple on a user model and the reason for keeping that model so simplistic is if you're building an ecosystem and you want people to be part of that, they all have to be on that same currency and dial tone so that we can create the interoperability that we strive for. So it's really simple. It's users per month and of course we have annual commitments or beyond. 
We have an interoperability agreement with Autodesk um, that we signed earlier this summer, which we're excited about. And we essentially both exchange all of our APIs and SDKs for the engineering construction industry. So their product portfolio, our product portfolio, we both have access to, which I think is, is great for the market. That, uh, that we can liberate and, and uh, create those connections and interoperability amongst our tools.